Hello, my name is Archita Sarkar and I'm an artist from Kolkata. And my main mode of artwork is uh, stippling and my main, uh, I mainly work on memento mori, which means that you must cherish life and you must always, you have to face death sometime or the other. So that's what I try to bring into my artworks, to cherish life to embrace death in a way. For example, here you can see that uh, there is a juxtaposition of uh, life and death. Here it represents the death and here it represents the, uh, the life, the beauty of life, how we should cherish our lives and all that makes our lives. So there is beauty in life and there is pain and then ultimately there is death. And this artwork, uh, I actually came up with this artwork when I was listening to a song. That, so that song inspired me to make this artwork. It expresses uh, loneliness, mysteriousness, and uh, the loneliness that sometimes we as humans feel in, and the emotions we humans feel. So, yeah, and I try to express my artworks through stippling, not through colors, but only black and white. So it's a bit different. Hello, this is Sahil Verma. I am from New Delhi and I am a budding artist. I have presenting three of my artworks in Nakshatra Art Exhibition. So the first one is Junoon. Uh, this is a handmade painting. Uh, I haven't used any palette knives or brushes in this painting. And it basically is a five week journey of my uh, emotions where I started it out, it out as an anger painting. So you can see the darker shades over here and it turned out to be a happy painting. So you can see the glitters and the uh, lo lotuses and um, by the end of it I discovered that I wanted peace of mind and heart so the lotuses over here they stand for that and uh, this is a very special painting for me the next painting this is called flight of hope uh, I made this painting at a time when I was going through a lot of difficulty and turmoil and I just wanted a chance of a, or an opportunity. So the golden patches over here, they, uh, they stand for opportunities that life gives you and uh, just like a hummingbird you have to work really hard to you know, fly through all that difficult time and you have to focus on that one fruit. Uh, which will give you a lot of success and happiness. The next painting is called 100 Shades of Love and um, it was also a five week emotional journey where I wanted to express all my um, phases of love whether it is whether it is for myself, my work, my parents or my partner and uh, with this painting I discovered that it's okay to have a lot of faces in love as well. Hi, I'm Sharmishta Chakravarti and these are my works. Um, these are mixed media paintings. Uh, it involves multiple processes. Um, for example, first, it in, uh, there were photographs involved. Those photos were manipulated digitally. It was taken, like the printouts were taken. And on top of that, uh, lino printing was done. And on top of that painting was done. So multiple layers have been used in this kind of painting. It primarily depicts that um, it's my way, it's my own way to deal with my own uh, bestiality, own, own sense of divinity and own sense of, sense of monstrosity. And also currently uh, we, we can see that our, our concept of humanity is changing rapidly. We are living in this post-human era. Uh, so the idea of what a human is or what I am as a human being, that is my main, uh, main theme of the work. Uh, because AI has come in the consciousness, our consciousness will, can be soon be transferred into machines. And humans have started to identify as something other than humans. So in this time where 
the idea the concept of what human is is changing rapidly this is my way to deal with that uh, so this is primarily the theme of the painting Uh, hello, I'm Nandita Bhattacharya from Calcutta. Uh, I do Chinese painting and I usually work on Indian themes in Chinese style. I had learned uh, Chinese painting in Singapore at Nanyang Academy of Fine Arts. Now, Chinese painting is uh, completely different from any other paintings. It is one of the oldest form of traditional painting. Uh, in Chinese painting, ri usually ri rice paper, Chinese watercolor, and Chinese ink are used. And it is uh, based on strokes and there are different kinds of strokes uh, for uh, different kinds of uh, things to be painted. Uh, <clears throat> Chinese painting is usually uh, based on nature and every, um, every, every different kind of flowers has a different kind of strokes and the leaves as well. And there are different kinds of brushes used for different kind of strokes and for the flowers as well. Uh, here is actually a bamboo forest. So uh, here also different kinds of Chinese watercolors and ink have been used. And the these are all based on different kinds of, again, strokes and um, with different kinds of brushes. Here, if you see, uh, like uh, different layers have been used, different layers of paintings, uh, and also different uh, shades of green has, have also been used. So uh, while uh, uh, doing the last strokes with ink, uh, you know, the brushes are usually, the bristles are actually dry and, uh, and then they're spread and they're, then they are dipped in uh, ink and then painted. Um, then uh, there are stones here which you can see and here also there are fat brushes which have been used for uh, painting the uh, stones and with single stroke the stones have been painted and then for this tiny uh, animals like hens uh, here again, very fine uh, brushes. Again, different kinds of strokes have been used for uh, painting these hens. And uh, here again, this, these are sunflowers. Again, there are different kinds of br uh, brushes for different kinds of strokes have been used to paint uh, these sunflowers. And uh, as you can see, the chicks here, here just with uh, three different strokes, uh, chicks have been uh, created. And uh, over here, the feathers also with, uh, initially with a single stroke, the yellow color uh, has been painted. And on top of that, very uh, thin brushes when the uh, paper is wet 
very thin brushes are used to draw the lines, the feathers on top. Uh, for the leaves, of course, there are just two uh, strokes uh, that have been used to draw the paint, the leaves. And no sketches are made before the painting, only uh, because uh, it is uh, painted on rice paper, so if I use a pencil, the rice paper will tear. So it is, the paintings are all done uh, directly with different kinds of strokes, with uh, brushes and paints.